how do you adjust to facing a team that's not like that, that's going to be big and physical and, and you know, try to pound you? Well, first, I can't really get into very much on that obviously, for obvious reasons about what we're doing this week. Um, but I can say that I do, I do think we're at a little advantage um, because, you know, we go all camp and all spring have seen some similar type of plays. You know, different than what true spread teams have to deal with when their defense is spread all camp. So, um, but I've always hoped that that would help us. I don't know that it has over the last two years. Maybe well this year. I guess what I'm asking is, are you at any disadvantage because you have sort of smaller guys? Well, I think it depends on who you play, where you play them, all those things. And so every every week's different. But um, I think in general, you know, as we've talked about before, we have built this, we have moved this defense to more speed and size. Yes. How much do you like the uh, fact that you guys have had a little bit of adversity, at least this past week, the first half, to, to teach the guys something that you could tell them all day long, but they won't learn unless they experience it? Yeah, I think it's always valuable to, to go into late in the games. Um, I know we didn't leave our starters out there the entire game. Um, but, you know, um, sometimes it happens where you have a couple easy games where, you know, your guys are way ahead at halftime, then all of a sudden you get in one and you're not used to having to, to play in a close game. So I think from that sense, it, it was good to start the fourth quarter being a close game. And you said you didn't think Stanford could change that much, but looking at who they've had to play, have they had to show much at this, you know, the first two games, or are they holding stuff back? Well, I don't think they've showed very much stuff, but I, I also think that that's probably really their personality. They do what they do. Um, they're not a big, um, huge change from week to week. Um, they're going to play a lot of extra linemen. They're going to play tight ends. They're going to run the ball, and they're going to do play action. And on defense, they're going to be um, very multiple. And I, I think they're really well coached, one of the better coach teams in the country. It seems like um, Robert and Marquise have really embraced the blocking this year. Is that a difficult sell job to guys like that, or to wide receivers in general? Or how do you sort of get them to do that? Yeah, I don't. I don't. I think that's really coaching. I think that, you know, um, guys, they, they've got to be special guys. If you're going to, you know, have all these records that they do, or, you know, uh, you know, some seems almost weekly they do something new. Um, to also play that many snaps and block the way that they do um, takes a special competitor, regardless of how much you sell it as a coach. Um, and then they're a better duo than, than we've had before. Um, we've usually been about one of the two guys um, has, has been a blocker. I don't know, but kind of been more of sometimes not play as hard in the run game. And so to have two of them, I think, is really unusual. Describe uh, the way this team has changed with Luck not being there and now pretty much a run team, aren't they? Well, yeah, but then they came out last week and tried to throw the ball, I think, to balance that up after the first week of being so lopsided. So, um, like I said, I think they're going to do what they do. Um, when Luck was there, they were still a running team first. And so I, I don't think they've changed all, all that much. Um, hopefully we can get them in the fourth quarter and you know, make, make a new guy have to make plays. Lane, there was a published report that Andre had already had uh, surgery and was going to be out for a few weeks. Can you confirm that? Or? No, I got it. Um, the reporter who reported that has been banned from practice and from a game coming up. What was the justification for that? Well, our administration is going to address that with your editors um, later today. Um, we felt that it was very clear what our expectation was. Um, so I'll address that later today. Was, was the expectation uh, in regard to practices and what is viewed in practice, what's reported in practice in terms of injuries and strategy, that report uh, did not include any references to practice or anything? Well, I think for those of you that were here that day, including yourself, um, you saw what questions asked directly about off-the-record stuff, and um, you saw my response. Because once you start going with everything off the record, you're going to write whatever you want. Just say it was off the record. You say, well, I didn't write it because I saw it. So, um, 